So, today we're gonna do some instancing. Uh, let's do laser beams. Laser beams that track a point. And let's control that point with the mouse. And let's make it so that we can change the shape that emits those beams. Also, why to use only lines? We can go with literally any geometry. Cool enough? Uh, let's do it. First of all, we need something to emit those beams. Add a circle top. Now, use the sop to chop operator to convert it into chop. Add a null. And let's deal with the rendering network. Add a line sub, connect it to a geometry comp, add a camera, a render, and a constant mat. Apply the mat to the gel comp. Go to gel comp parameters and enable instancing. Now, drag this null to the translate operator and set the coordinates to Tx, Ty, and Tz. We've got the lines, let's deal with rotation. We've got two dimensions, that means we only need one angle of rotation. How do we find it? Let's look at one point example. We've got a point on the circle and another point is somewhere else. What we want is to find the angle for this line. To do that, let's imagine a triangle. And yeah, you can do that for any other point as well. So, we've got two points. Let's say one is described with X and Y coordinates and another one is X first and Y first. Let's call these sides A and B and the angle is R. Now, if you remember basic trigonometry, you may also remember that the tangent of R equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent. So, we might say that the tangent of R equals A divided by B, which also means that it equals Y first minus Y divided by X first minus X. Now we can solve this equation for the R by using the arctangent, which is really just the opposite of the tangent function. And that gives us that r equals the arctangent of y first minus y divided by x first minus x. The question is, how do we use that in Touch Designer? First of all, add a select chop. We only need the tx channel here, now duplicate it and select the ty. Add a mouse in chop to get the mouse position. We're gonna compute rotation for all these points simultaneously, so let's use a button chop and change the type to constant. Connect the sop to chop into the button. That's how we make sure that they have the exact same number of points. Rename the channel to X, now duplicate it, and rename the channel to Y. Connect the mouse in into a null. Now let's set the Tx to control the amplitude of X and the Ty to control the amplitude of Y. The Tx channel gives us values from minus 1 to 1, but the Ty channel doesn't, there is a reason for that. Go to the mouse in parameters and choose normalized output. Add a math chop. Connect the pattern X first and then connect the select Tx. Set combine chops to subtract. Do the same thing for the ty and y. Add a function chop. Set the function to a102. It's really nothing else, just a more comfortable version of the arc tangent. Connect chops like this. Let's add a rename chop and rename this channel to r. Connect it to a null. Now go to geo, drag this null to the rotation operator and set the z rotation to r. That's it with rotation, now let's deal with scaling. Duplicate these math operators, add another math chop, connect X and Y, but now set combine chops to length. Add a rename chop, rename the channel to scale, add a null, set it to be the scale operator for the instances and set all three scale parameters to scale. Now you can add a lookup with the ramp, replace the constant mat with the line mat and connect wherever sop you want to be instanced. You can even import an FBX file and set it to be the instance source or emitter or both. Or maybe add a constant with TX and TY coordinates and control it manually, why not? That's it, feel free to like and subscribe, you can also support me on Patreon and thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.